Fall 2011 marked the beginning of the third year of the Target Arts Program, a collaboration between City Performing Arts Center and the Boston Public Schools. Funded by Target, the program worked with six different Boston Public Schools in grades ranging from 4th to 12th. Schools included Winthrop Elementary, Ellis Elementary, Tobin K-8, King K-8, Edward M. Kennedy Academy for Health Careers, and Burke High School. The residency centered around three productions, J.M. Barry's Peter Pan on Boston City Hall Plaza, The Adams Family at City Schubert Theater, and Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater at the City Wang Theater. Taking themes from these productions, teaching artists and interns worked with students in school for six weeks, exposing students to storytelling, dance, movement, acting and contact improvisation, music, ensemble work, acting and scene creation. It's so wonderful to be able to work with kids directly in their schools, to work with uh, their teachers, to work hand in hand and see what we can really create with these kids. And we have writers, we have dancers, we have singers, we have actors, all of these things that we never knew. They were just amazing. I'm so honored and rewarded to be a part of this. At the end of the six weeks, schools were treated to an assembly where local artists performed to reinforce the themes of the residency, and the students shared a brief piece that they created during their time with the teaching artist. I was really happy to get to perform on stage today. I performed the poem, a song, and a dance. Well, I feel good to perform. I feel good. It's kind of scared and nervous, but at the end of the day, I got with it. Guest artists included Wampanoag Native American Anna Juan Whedon, pop singer Lisa Bello, and local dance troupe Bosoma. During the Peter Pan residency, students shared ensemble created work based on the themes of overcoming obstacles, defining personal dreams, and life goals. For the Adams family, students shared their exploration of the production's national outreach campaign, No Snap Judgments, which called on students to discuss personal expression and differences and the importance of respect. Students explored dance, movement, and tableau to illustrate tolerance and acceptance. Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater allowed students to explore themes in each dance piece and how to tell a story using dance and movement. A total of 900 students and faculty were in attendance at these performances. The students who have volunteered for this program are my most shy students, and it's really, the theater arts is really bringing out a lot of yeah, uh, excitement in the students. They, they might be shy in classroom, they may be shy in the cafeteria and don't speak to other students as well, but on the stage, they're having an opportunity to really perform for their classmates. Schools received tickets to attend the professional productions. Approximately 570 tickets were distributed to the schools. Adams Family Residencies even got to meet cast members at a private reception. <laughs> tickets were given not only to the residency students, but also to other students in an effort to broaden the program's reach. Students, teachers, parents, and administrators saw live productions on some of Boston's biggest stages. For many, it was the first time in one of these historic theaters, and student surveys reported it will not be their last. Oh, Peter Pan, we can't stop talking about Peter Pan, because for many, many of our students, it was a first-time experience. Our kids are not always exposed to that kind of art. And Peter Pan is still ringing in our classrooms. It was an awesome show, and we really did enjoy it. And thank you so much for affording us that opportunity. Overall, Target Arts reached over 1,600 students during its eight-month run this year. It also reinforced the important ties between arts and classroom learning for assistant teaching artist interns, school faculty, and staff.